do you normally do with custard? Do you put it in your trifle? Put it on your crumble. Whatever you do, I'm pretty sure you don't fill a paddling pool with 300 litres of it and try to walk on it. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing later on in this show. Yes! Can I have some of your pie? No. Oh, now, though, it's time for science, courtesy of Daredevil, scientist himself, Greg Fett. Hey, hey. hey! Thanks so much. Good to be back. It's good to have you Great back. Now, what have you got in front of us here? Because I can't oh, wait. I've got fun. I've got mess. Yes. Got a bit of a competition. Also got the science of custard. Custards. Not something you probably think about every day. But Never. first, but first, this is just a container of water, right? It's flowing. Put your hand in there. Just make sure it's normal water. Yeah, it just feels like normal Nothing water. Nothing special about it, right? Yeah. It's a liquid. Yeah. OK. You mentioned Isaac Newton earlier. Yes. As part of the Mission Patch competition. Uh -huh. Now, as well as talking about gravity, he talked about loads of other things, including force and motion, that sort of stuff. This behaves just like he thought it would. Okay. You know, you put a force through it, which is just, just touching it, pushing through it, and it behaves like a liquid. Easy. This, however, a little bit different. Okay. This is custard powder and water, so it's just a custard mix. Just normal custard? Yeah. Okay. Put your hand through this one. Oh, what, that feels like clay. Isn't it weird? All of Isn't a sudden, it, it has a drag on it. So you can see that it flows, right? So you'd yeah. think it's a liquid, but... Right, get your hands right in there. OK. Try to grab some of it. Just yep. grab some of that liquid in your hand, but then keep the pressure on it when yeah. it's in your hand. And what you get is you can actually <sighs> form a ball like that, and it turns into a solid, and then you let go, and it yeah. turns back into a liquid again. This is just custard. This is weird. OK, so this is non-Newtonian. It's not behaving in the same way that Newton thought it would behave. Okay. Because you put a force onto this liquid... Yes. ..and it turns into a solid. Hang on. It turns into a solid? Yeah, yeah, which means we can try something. Uh, just punch it. Just hit it. OK. Whoa! I'm glad that it's worked. Not... Otherwise, that could have been a mess. Look at that. Look so, at the <laughs> point where you're hitting it... Oh, it's getting messy. It turns into a solid and your hand doesn't go through it. And what's great wow. about this is it has some really cool kind of applications. So what you can do is take exactly the same basic idea yeah. and you can protect your tech. So mobile phones, tablets, that sort of thing. I've got one on my phone here. You see the orange bit around the outside? Yes. This is basic. it's the same as this. It's not custard, but it's a non-Newtonian substance. It's a chemical, it's a okay. chemical compound. And what's great is it's soft and flexible but then, if you were to drop it or knock it like this... And we've all done that. Yeah. yeah. What happens is, at that point, when you put that force on it, it goes hard. Okay. So it protects your phone, absorbs all that, all, all that impact, absolutely fine. And does it just work purely for phones? or, or... Yeah, you can get it in uh, sports equipment, stuff like that as well. It's called D3O. Very, very cool stuff. Now, I've actually pulled my jeans up ready for this. Oh, yeah. We've got a big, <laughs> a big load of custard this here. This is what I thought. I thought, we yeah. need to upscale this. We need to make this bigger. <laughs> that was like a couple of litres. This is well over 300 litres of custard, powder and water. Now, have a look. It's a lovely flowing liquid, yeah, OK? Yeah, it is, yeah. But hopefully... You ready for this? Give it a bit of a punch. Will it work? Okay. Yes, yes, it, it is. turns into a solid when you hit it. This is the coolest thing ever. So I thought, <laughs> would it be possible for you, Radzi, to run over this? <laughs> okay, shall I go for it? Yeah, why Let's not? Do a countdown. Three, two, Three, two one. one. Go, go, go! Yay! Put your knee over your feet. Yeah! Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. We nearly had a disaster. <laughs> How is this happening, Greg? <laughs> OK, so you've got all these custard particles, custard powder particles, covered in water in there as well, right? Yeah. And what's happening is they can glide over each other, and that's why they act just like a liquid. But as soon as you push down on top of them with the force of your hand yeah. or your foot, you push the liquid out the way, all those custard particles lock together and it acts like a solid. So go for a little run. Do you know what? It feels like you're sort of running in a really muddy puddle, but somehow I'm not going through it. Isn't it brilliant? Yeah. If you were to stop, yes. what would happen is you... Oh. Yeah, you'd sink, uh, because you wouldn't have that force uh, on top of the custard mix anymore. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get you out. You don't know? No. Well, that's, um... Well, Greg, thank you very much. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Lindsay, help me! I love that Razzie's actually stuck. You can bring the custard again, Greg. That's a good distraction.